How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to download apps on your Kindle Fire HD. Now, first I want to kind of explain what an app is, uh, in case you're uh, unfamiliar. Um, apps to a to a tablet or like software to a computer. So on a computer you would download software to do different things like Microsoft Word is a, is a typing program you would use to type documents. So same thing on the Kindle, it's just called an app instead of software. So that's really what it is. It's just software for a tablet or e-reader. So what you're gonna do if you wanna download is you have to go to the app store, which is right here. So tap on apps and the first page you're going to see, these are all the apps that you already have. Now uh, the Kindle does come with a good amount of apps already. But it's more than, it's not as much as this. I download a lot of these, but the Kindle does come with a good amount of apps. So to download, you're going to need to go to the store. So tap on store. Okay. And now the first thing I'm always going to show you is different app recommendations, featured apps, recommendations. Um, if you're not sure what you want yet, yeah, you can kind of go by what's up here. Like there's bestsellers. You can kind of see what is it, what are people downloading a lot of. Minecraft is a really fun game for kids. Pinterest. In fact, let's do this one. Let's say we want to get this app. Um, you would tap on it. Okay. And what it's going to show you is you can... Uh, see one if it's free or if it costs. So this is a free app. The rating is right above it. It's four and a half stars. And then it actually gives you a description down here of what the app does. And then over here are pictures. So you can actually tap on one of these pictures and you can see what the app looks like. Okay, and we can just swipe right across. I always look at the pictures before I download an app because I want to make sure that it's what I want. Sometimes you're looking for something new and the pictures are going to show you, oh, does this, does this look like something I want or does it not? Now, when you want to go back, there's a little tab at the bottom here that you tap and you just press the back arrow and it's going to take you back here. So let's say I decide I want to get this app. What you're going to do is just tap on free and then you tap it again because it now says get app. And now it's starting, it's going to start downloading onto your Kindle. So um, you'll see a little line go across and let, let you know it's downloading. Now here's the thing. I want to explain this as well. Um, it's it's going to show up as a purchase. And you're probably saying if it's free, why would it be a purchase? Well, you're still buying it even though it's free. And what they do is they keep a record of all the apps that you download. So in case you erase, you can actually go back and re-download it again easier. So don't worry, even though it says it's a purchase, it doesn't mean that you're going to pay for it. It is a free app. Okay? So, so we download that app. That's really cool. Now let's say we want to look for some more apps. Go ahead and press the back arrow. And now we're back on this page and there's more apps we can look at. We got Netflix, Angry Birds. There's tons and tons of apps on here. Okay. New Angry Birds Space. Now, um, maybe if, let's say you know exactly what app that you want. Maybe you had it on your phone and you want to get it on your Kindle Fire. What you're going to do is go to the top where it says Search App Store. You can type in the name of it. So, like the one I want to get is called Hanging with Friends. And as you start typing, they'll give you suggestions. So go ahead and tap on Hanging with Friends. And here it is. It's actually right here. So now I just tap on the app. And again, I have my pictures here if you want to look at it. Or I can just go ahead and hit free and start downloading it. Get app. And now it's downloading right onto my Kindle. Okay. So while it downloads, you can either go back and look for more apps or you can go back to the home screen or whatever. So let's say you download the apps and you're like, cool, I got my apps, now I want to use them. What you're going to do is right here, tap on library. Let me tap it right, actually. And now this is your library and it's actually going to, oh, messed up. Here we go, library. And these are all your apps. We just downloaded Hanging With Friends. And then a little bit lower, we downloaded Pinterest, okay? So if I want to, Hang with friends, I just tap on the app and I get started. Okay, and it, give it a second, it will launch up and we can start playing. You can connect with Facebook or whatever or with your email. So let's say I go home 
and now I'm on the main screen. How do I get back to my app? Well, there's two ways you can do it. One way is that the app, if you just used it, is going to show up on the front in what this is what's called your carousel. If you don't see it on here, what you would do is you would just tap on apps. All your apps are always right there, and there it is. And you just kind of move down the list, and there's our other app. Okay, so this has been how to download apps for the Kindle Fire HD. Really simple process. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, there are paid apps as well. And if we go to the store really quickly, I'll just show you how to be able to determine which ones are paid, which ones are free. It's totally simple as long as you're wearing your glasses or you can see. Just kidding. Uh, this app right here, as you can see, um, you see how it says $4.99, $1.99, $99, $14.99, and these say free. Always check first to look and see because maybe you don't want a, a paid version, so you want to look for a free. Okay? And that's all you have to do. Okay? So, hope this was helpful. Go ahead and like the video if you found it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos and keep watching, alright? Have a good one.